Hi, it's Talsvids. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the new low power mode, which is a new feature in iOS 9. Now, with all the under the hood improvements with iOS 9, uh, we can gain an extra one hour of battery life compared to iOS 8 and earlier versions of iOS. Now, the low power mode, it can be enabled in two ways. The first way is when your phone gets down to 20%, you'll get a, a, a screen prompt coming up on your iPhone screen asking if you want to enable low power mode. And from there, you can enable it. The second way that you can do it, which I'll show you now, is we can go into settings. Now, in the settings app in iOS 9, there's an extra option called battery, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. So if we touch this, so as we can see now that we're in the battery section, there's a switch called low power mode. Now it's currently off, but it tells you underneath what will happen when you switch it on. And that is that low power mode will temporarily reduce power consumption until you can fully charge your iPhone. When this is on, mail fetch, background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or turned off. So visual effects would be the like parallax effect, what you get when you sort of tilt your iPhone screen, you sort of get the background uh, moving in like a three dimensional way uh, for want of a better description. So if I enable low power mode now, if we look at the top of the top right of the screen, we can see that the battery indicator has changed to a yellow color. Now this is a visual indication that you've got low power mode enabled and obviously the description that I said earlier, uh, all them will be in effect now. And you also notice as well when you've got low power mode on, uh, your screen on your iPhone will dim after about 10 or 15 seconds to further reduce the amount of battery as well. So if I just knock that off, and as you can see further down, we can get uh, a description of uh, what apps have been used and what amount of power over the last 24 hours or in my case the last three days as you can see there and you can also see as well next to the last 24 hours and last three day tab there's a little clock if we twitch that it shows an extra bit of information as well as you can see with the Endemundo app that I'll point out in this example which is a fitness app um, there's been two minutes of use of the app on screen so that means I was using the app with the iPhone screen on and there's 4.9 hours of background use which means the app was still running because it uses your GPS um, and that was without the screen on and you can see that it's used overall in that time 15% of the battery life and you can see as well the other apps uh, give you the, that same information as well I think the low power mode, it is quite a useful feature. Um, obviously, we've all done it. We've forgot to charge our phone up. Then we've went out and then we've realized we're going to run out of battery before we can get to a charging point. So if you switch this on, it's going to make the difference of being able to use your phone or not being able to use your phone because otherwise your phone would have been flat. Uh, so I think it is quite a, a good feature. Uh, well, I think that covers everything for this uh, video guide. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll receive an email when I upload any new videos. Well, thanks for watching. Goodbye.